Do you think this is a real phone camera? No, it's a prototype. Let's learn how you can make prototypes like this. First, add a camera layer. Then, adjust the size. The camera hasn't yet been opened. If you want to turn it on as soon as you open the prototype, go to the right hand panel and check the auto start box. Done! Now let's send the prototype to Prototype Player for review. Using your camera for interactions has never been easier. To make more interactions, such as taking a picture or switching camera, you need to change the camera response. Select the camera layer as the object of this camera response. If you want to take a picture, click on the stop action. If you click start, you can turn on the current camera or switch between the front and the rear camera. Now, let's make a real prototype together using your camera. If you tap a button within your prototype, it will behave as your phone camera. So, the first trigger is tap. Then, we need to add a camera as a response. As we explained this before, we need to select the stop action to take a picture. For the second trigger, let's choose tap with the object being this circular arrow. In order to switch between front and rear camera, you want to add camera response and then click start with the switch here, like we did before. Now on your phone, here we go! Say cheese everyone! With this camera feature, you can easily make all these amazing interactions. Prototyping as easy as pie.